You know, I wasn't really even going to do a video on this one, just because... I mean, it has controller support. I didn't do anything to... We'll come back later to finish burning out these nests. Yeah, we'll come back later. Because I didn't really do anything too crazy, but... Well, let's just get down. Let's get down here. Let's talk. Let's have a little conversation. So... The one thing about this game is that it is a Steam Input API enabled game. SI API. So, some people don't know what that is. What is it? That means, see how all this is a little different? So like I have menu, on foot, on bike, survival, like I, I didn't do any of this. This is all actions defined by the devs that they put into the game. So like, I want to change climb. See, even this is a little different from what you would be used to on a normal game. You have these actions that are defined by the devs. They've supported the game natively from their end for Steam input, which has benefits and has frustrations. I personally often come up with, against frustrations with these sorts of games. And the thing, the thing with this one is that I was running into difficulties any time I wanted to get outside of this wheelhouse. Like, if I wanted to do something the way I'm used to doing it, it would break. And I can actually show you that right here. So, you can see how they have their action here defined as break reverse. This is just in-game action. So, I have no access to the dual stage trigger. Even in here, like, there's... Let's break reverse. Well, actually, okay, I'll, you know, we'll go, we'll go through just because I, I anticipate people are going to ask, well, why didn't you try doing such and such? So, okay, what I want to do is put nitrous boost on full stage trigger. This throttle input, this is stuck to throttle. So I can't go to, well, actually, let's back up. So we'll do... Bam! So here we have other game actions, because I'm trying to do the normal thing that I would want to do. You know, we have analog as right trigger, full pull for nitrous, soft pull, we could even try to make that. See, here's where the triple, this is where the trouble is. I can't, that throttle action can't be bound anywhere, except to take over the dual stage triggers. So you'd be thinking, well, it should work because I have right trigger and nitrous. So we'll go back to the game. We'll get on the bike. Like that is the one nice thing about Steam Input API is that I can have separate controls for on foot and on bike because the devs have already bound that stuff. So. See, look at this. Now I don't have... I can't steer. Because <laughs> it's reading. Oh, now I can steer. Oh, now I can't steer. Oh, there. I got stuck throttling forward. Now I'm stuck doing circles. Uh oh. <laughs> Damn it. A lot of ammo left. Yeah, it's like you just you can't combine the functions. Try to load up, you know, it's like, okay, screw it. We're having limitations, let's just go full gamepad. We'll get rid of all other stuff. It would automatically kick out my config and load in their recommended dev one, which doesn't have any of my tweaks. So <laughs> that wasn't working either. So what we're gonna have to do, I just simply cannot have what I want. I have to keep this as throttle. I cannot do the full stage trigger. I mean, there might be some way you can trick the game into going back to legacy stuff if you make a full gamepad, like, it wasn't something that I was digging into 
super deep to try to solve because I also had these same issues with Death Stranding, where when I tried to bypass the Steam input API system, I would get other I would get input bugs. In that game, I would get like double inputs on certain buttons. And that was if I tried to use legacy gamepad stuff. So with that little frustration out of the way, like that's just a limitation that I couldn't do. Maybe somebody can figure out some solution, but trust me, I, I, I took quite a bit of time try, trying to figure that out. Couldn't get it working on my end, and I just kind of got tired of trying to figure it out, and I wanted to play the game. But that cranky little diatribe out of the way, what I really wanted to talk about was okay, so I just did a quick little dive into what Steam Input API is and showed you, without getting technical, just that they're dev actions created by the devs to support controller actions. And then really, all I was doing was figuring out things that made more sense to me, which is what I'm always pushing is just trying like what makes more sense what feels more comfortable to you so like that this right here that i'm doing that is a button a is the shoulder switch and click of right stick which is we're emulating that is your survivor vision which is this or while you're aiming is that time slow focus. So that was one that I was able to use full stage trigger. So I have aim, full pull left trigger does that. And then it's a corded press to make while you're aiming, click is switch shoulder. You know, so it's just trying to figure out ways that simple things like little tweaks nothing crazy not reinventing the wheel here and that was really as simple as like even this is another example of the steam input stuff it's like wait where's my mode shift it's supposed to be right here i have to click advanced settings to show that to expose that so inside this mode shift I put all the D-pad stuff, or actually the up, up isn't the D-pad, up is a Y button, which is switch your weapon. So I have my regular press is, I'm not using that for reload, that's another thing that frustrates me, it's how they defined that action, which is the X button. It's not reload. For how I'm using it, I'm using it for the interact on that particular instance. Then a corded press during left trigger soft pull is not climb mantle. That's how they've defined the action. It is the shoulder switch while you're using a gun. That was really it. It's simple. It works. You know, so I have. So like over here, I want to get on my bike. I just click in the middle. That's my X button. But then while I'm aiming, I click that middle and it's shoulder switch. I'm more about figuring out what feels comfortable with the controller and what makes sense. To me, clicking that makes more sense to switch my shoulder. Instead of that uh, focus, that's just a full pull. And then that's another thing. So like I'm shooting a little bit, I full pull. Is If I hold it, it's not doing my focus time. I flick up. I reload. I can also use that to flick down to switch my weapon, which would also be a melee kill if I wanted like an interactive melee kill. I could sneak up on somebody, hold, flick down, and then that would uh, assassinate them. In case anybody cares, this config is uploaded. Uh, I am enjoying the game. I mean, really, most, most of what I did was just transferring, you know, the stick and pad, which, boy, wouldn't that be nice if we had just like a simple swap function <laughs> or 
copy paste kind of function. That's a good example too. Like I moved the function of the binoculars, which is technically D pad up, but because of how they've defined this stuff, it doesn't interrupt, interrupt any of the menu things. So yeah, like that, that kind of stuff is nice. Oh, and also by default, they didn't have gyro. I mean, come on, come on, guys, come on. But yeah, aside from that, I'm digging the game. It just has some, some controller frustrations, which seems to always happen with my experience with Steam Input API games. I would personally rather they just have mixed input support where you can lock the controller glyphs. But yeah, that's it. So yeah, it's a fun game. I'm glad I'm able to actually play it. Because I don't have a console, so... Alright, I will see you around. Did I, cut, did I come off as cranky? I feel like... I don't know. Maybe am I getting stressed out? <laughs> I, I can show you. I should, I should have explained this. So... I had, the ga I had the game on launch. And there was a problem with the bike controls. Uh, I think it was that the throttle... Or no, it was that... Yeah, but so before I get into that. It was that... They didn't have movement found over here so you couldn't steer on the bike which I you know I immediately fixed it it took me like three seconds and it was fine it was working and then I went on to all my other tweaks that I was making and then they issued a fix to their dev to their dev config and the way they pushed that out it it was like a nuclear option and forced every single person using Steam input to only use this config. And I probably still have old versions down here. Yeah, right here. Incompatible config. Incompatible config. Incompatible. Like, it just... It completely broke. It, it refused to read my config, and that... I, I apparently haven't recovered yet. That sent me into a sent me into a wild, enraged tizzy, just <laughs> like that, uh, like kind of surprised me that that's even an option that devs can do that. So yeah, it like what they're able to just flip a switch and destroy my config. So that was part of it. I had to then I had to go back in and rebuild the whole thing. So yeah, it's just always always these Steam input API games. They're they end up causing frustrations for me. I would much rather just have you know just give me mixed input and let me lock down controller glyphs. That's all I want. And now folks, it's time to say good night. We sincerely appreciate your patronage and hope we've succeeded in bringing you an enjoyable evening of entertainment. Please drive home carefully and come back again soon. Good night.